All right, what's up everybody? Scott Hogan. Uh, gonna just play around here. So this is part of the indoor league that they have. And a lot of you have requested to see the new setup and everything. So uh, in action, so let's do it. We'll just play, play this round. This is an online round. And I've had zero warm up. So that's my first swing of the day. Off we go. 231 downhill. So you can see the setup. We've got some lights on, so the screen might be a little washed out because of those. 231, cutting a little too much. And we're playing at the Belfry, if you can't see that in the top left. The Belfry is actually probably my least favorite course out of the, uh, the free ones you get. Now remember, free ones are only on iOS. So we're taking that upstairs, try to plop it right there. Beautiful. So again, these are not the, you know, this is, we are playing on a PC setup. This is my PC setup, uh, which I like, you know, I do like it. Um, you know, like it for, you know, a few reasons. I like the iOS setup for quite a few reasons too. So, you know, I think a lot of you have heard me talk about that and why I like the iOS setup, but uh, you know, with COVID stuff, and for me and my business, we've you know we've had to change some things. So, you know, we just we've kind of got to go with it. So, we put this guy up. Now, fun fact on this round, I do not have a pitching wedge because. When we were building this setup, when we were doing all this work, and somewhere in, in all of that time, I uh, my pitching wedge went missing. So this is going to be a nine iron that we're really knocking down to a distance. You can see that one. And actually, that's one of the first you know real no reads I've had. Again, I'm not sure if it's all the lights and stuff I've had. It's gonna work to my advantage. It's gonna hit the second one way better. Hit the second one way better. The first one was have been high and right. So I hit that one better. But uh, it's been doing pretty good. And I've enjoyed it. And being able to putt actually has been fun. So you can see we've got our mat set up. Um, You know, we've got our mat set up and it's actually working, been working pretty good. Again, now we're getting a few no reads and stuff, but that's been rare. So I push that one a touch as we go. So um, I know some people have said they've had some issues getting their putting and stuff to work. Um, you know, the only thing I can suggest on that is, you know, just check out your uh, your setup. One thing I'm going to try, hey, Google, change LED lights to red. So, oh, I mean, hey, Google, change LED lights to dark blue. I'm going to change the color of the lights. Um, lights don't do anything. Just had a theory there about red light. In my head, I, you know, again, I just changed those to red a few minutes ago, and I uh, hadn't been doing that. So, and that one was hit a little better. So, one of the things I've I've noticed with this is the driver 
back spins have been a little high, but you know, my club speeds have been a little low. And that kind of makes sense. Haven't really been swinging a ton and you know, I think it's, you know, based on the speeds, I'm not hitting it that far, but that's a speed thing. So we got a three iron here. That's a low burner and I need it to run. Yeah, I didn't get it into that gap. I needed to get that into the gap between the, uh, the, the two roughs there. Didn't do it. So we've got to play the pitch. Just fine. 30 yards. So very, very soft. Again, this is a league thing, so I don't set these up. But that's all right. You just have to adapt to what's going on. And what I've noticed is it's extremely soft. So my goal is just to fly everything to the hole and try to get it to land there. Um, so which is fine. I mean, obviously in real life, you, that would be a little less soft, but you can go through and change all those settings. But when you're playing something like this, you're working on carry. You know, do you know how, like that was a 31 yard shot. Do I know what a 31 yard shot carries? Because I'm, I'm literally trying to dunk it on the fly. So can I do that? All right, driver, par five. Hit that one a lot better, but pulled it. Get it away from a tree. So I'd be interested to see, you know, 245 on the carry there. Um, I believe this course is at lower elevation than what I normally play. The spin rates are definitely down, you know, from where they used to be. It used to be always like 4,500. Um, you know, and now you saw that last one was 3,300. Still a little high, I would say, but coming down, it's coming down, and uh, which is good. I mean, again, it's just constantly getting better and better. So let's see, six iron coming up. I'm going to try and hit one. Got to get up over this tree in front of me, stay under the branch. So I think this club can do that. And uh, also, I'm trying to get it down there as far as I can. Um, if I can get it, I was trying to get it to like 110 because that's not a pitching wedge. So, you know, that's that was the thing I was thinking a little bit there. But I think I can hit a gap there. I, you know, I'm not the best wedge player because I tend to sky them. I tend to hit them high. So... If I can keep it low, I'm actually going to try to draw it and keep it lower, and that keeps the, that, that gets me my yards. Like that felt pretty good. That one felt pretty good. Hit a little draw in there. Get in it. Don't spin. And when you hit that draw, what happens when you hit that draw and you kind of work around it? You get to keep the face, keep the ball in the face a little longer. So it's kind of nice. So, you know, that's, that's one way you can keep it from riding up and skying a little too high, which is what most people do with the wedge, myself included. And that one, but that one felt pretty good. I'm going to try to remember that one. get over that tree. So one of the things I've been working on in my swing is I'm trying to draw it better. So I'm trying to get the club to travel more vertical. We call that alpha, alpha force going up and then I can work it down. Um, and I, I just, I'm getting closer. My swing looks a little different than it did a few months ago. But it's a process. It takes a while to do anything in this game. So you just got to keep working. So for me, I'm trying to take it away, not roll it, but take it away and go up so I can come in a little more like that. Got a seven iron here, just a smoothie. And I hit it terrible. 
kind of was thinking a lot about my swing there, which is an ideal. But I'll make a note. I actually kind of want to see what that one looked like. Because I was thinking so hard about it. All right. Oh, the 20 yarder. Again, soft conditions. Learn your conditions. We, we just played in uh, Michigan. It was pouring rain the whole time. And, it, you know, it was similar to this. You know, it was, it was similar to this where, you know, you had to basically fly it there. It wasn't really rolling out at all because it was just sopping wet. So let's see, second putt. Let's see if we get it to read. I feel like I hit that one pretty good. It's there, didn't get it there. So not bad though, there you go. So yeah, like I said, those first couple shots, I wonder if it was, I really do wonder if it was the red lights on the side, that's just me me with decorating look trying to look cool i just like colorful shiny objects so um you know all right this is uh an interesting hole we're actually going to hit three wood off the tee because i don't want to go too far but also just the shape of the hole i mean i'm not worried about driver going too far i'm only swinging 105 but three wood trying to turn it down that left side, but then I pull it. Hit soft. Soft. Nope. Man, I hit that so good. Yeah. Just kind of an awkward one. That, that's where I struggle right now is I'm not getting the ball. On the draw, I'm not getting it out far enough. Not getting it out far enough to the right and then drawing it. Nine iron, just kind of a good one here. That one felt good. I'm going to make a note of that swing. Because that was actually, I mean, I flushed it too far. But that's kind of what I'm... I want to feel that. That was pretty good. Um, we can putt them from here. I actually choose to chip them. Same kind of reason. The ball's not rolling when you chip on this particular setup. So feel like you can just kind of plop them out there and a little easier to control. Probably less likely to make it, but also less likely to just roll it 10 feet by. Par three. Par three, 151. You know, if I can hit my nine like I did on the last shot, should be the club. Go for that. Nope. High right. God. That's, uh, that's. That's it right there. I mean, it's close. Very close. But not quite there yet. We're getting the close, but. I think that's got to go. Yeah, it's pretty good. I clipped, I just clipped it super good. Sometimes when you clip it like perfect, that's when you can get a lot of spin on it. So you're kind of worried that it's going to check up. So, you know, pretty good. All right, so that's the front nine, I believe. Is that, are we done with nine yet? No, I think this is nine. Oh, we're on eight. All right, what am I talking about? Okay, four, five, two. So this would be a hole, you know, where I'm trying to work on my swing for a hole like this, where I would like to let it really get out to the right, turn it over away from that water. It's a long hole. So I want to get some yards on it, but not start it left. Hit a tree. 
and that's going to hit a tree in the middle of the water. So, yeah, that's not particularly good. All right, so we got water up there. You know what, we're just gonna have to lay up, I think. Lay it up, our wedge game's working out. Wedges are not particularly difficult at the moment with the, the softness, so let's get up there. That one was hit really good. So I actually flushed that one. Play the wedge, 50 yarder. Trying to play the 50 yarder, sits. I kind of tried to do that same thing. I was trying to hit the draw in there with it. And then it just, you know, you just hit a little too far. short not too bad double bogey I believe and then we're on to nine all right let's see if I can get a few back here we go this one I can really hit this draw shot the way this is shaped and if it goes too far left you know, this is my jam here, this hole. Yeah, I can start it over there at that red stick with my draw. I'm getting it to turn over. I'm just not getting it to start right. And then we can play from there. So let's see. And I just overdoing it. Give me a shot. Might have a look at it anyway. Fifty nine, normally an eight. I want it to stay a fraction under, fraction under. Oh, where's it? It's right in front of my face. Seven iron. So we're going to hit a seven iron. We're going to try to keep it down a touch and draw it just under that tree so my issue is I'm faces shut so let's get the let's get the grip a little better nope it's not gonna get there even it, it didn't even hit the tree but it's I'll get there just really hit bad all right, lag putt try. Hardest putt on sim golf, hardest shot on sim golf, lag putt, I think. Every sim I've ever played on, it's always the hardest. But it's just always tough to get it. I felt like I hit that one pretty good though. Come on, baby, go in. Oh, lift it out. One thing for those, if you're struggling with putting, like I had my, I had somebody playing in here the other day and they're like a, you know, I don't know, 14 handicap, maybe a little less. And they were really struggling with the putting as well. And the one thing I just noticed with the putting is, um, the smoother your stroke is and the smoother the ball comes off of the face, the, the better it seems to read. So this one, we could try to drive it, but we're gonna just play it safe down the middle. You know, hit it 180, 190 yards, something like that. Yep, 
190 almost. And then, you know, we've got that, that wedge in that we've been doing pretty good at 90 yard wedge. And we've been doing pretty good with wedges, giving ourselves good looks. You know, could we pull that shot off? Maybe. Not the way we're hitting the driver today. I don't feel like we could, but, um, you know, we can, uh, this one we feel like we really can pull off. Again, trying to hit that little drawing wedge in there. Not bad. Just hung it out a touch, but hey, it's a good shot. For 90 to 12 feet, it's pretty good. Got to look. Like I said, just kind of a risk-free hole. Feel like. We'll see. 12 feet. I pulled it. Should be left. Catch it. Pretty good. And by the way, it's nine feet. I've got nine feet from the ball to the screen. You know, if I go back a touch for the putting, I'd have even more. So that's what I'm basing everything off of as we go through. And they're looking at this. So, all right. This one should be a little easier for me. I'm a little bit better fader of the ball. Hit that pretty good. Hit that pretty good. You can see, I, I mean, I like that. The distance got out there. I didn't snipe it left. 110 ball speed carried it 260 ish up uphill a little. I believe 113 mile an hour club speed, you know, as long as you have good launch conditions, will get you about 275. So it's close. I mean, that, that was pretty close. Maybe off a, a, you know, probably a yard or two. But that's assuming I hit everything the right way, too. That was a five iron. I wasn't trying to smash it. I was trying to hit it kind of smooth. So the way I would play that shot normally is hit it a little smoother, almost like, you know, almost like trying to hit it a touch thin because then it can kind of release back to the flag because that flag's in the back. I don't like hitting, you know, especially a five iron. I don't like trying to fly it back there. But again, conditions are saying don't do that. It's kind of hard for me to, I guess, overcome natural shot selection. I think these putts are really tough on sim golf too, where you're up a foot. It's just always tough to judge you know, hey, I'm going over a rise. You know, if you're playing that in real life, it's super, super feel, you know. So, again, I mean, don't hate it, though. I don't hate the way it's playing. So, par three, 225, fun. Three wood's too much. Three iron's probably not going to get there, but I, three iron should cover that water. And I, you know, he maybe hit the front edge. So I'm gonna give myself this. It looks like based on what I see up there, if you go back past it, it just looks like the green slope straight back towards the front. So it's probably tougher from beyond. So we're gonna try to, again, hit a little draw. Hit it hard. Oh, we hit it hard. That is as good as I can hit this club. And I'm very happy with that. That's as good as I got on that one. And as good as I hit that, you can kind of see on that shot, like I hit that really well. These are one of these weird putts. It's breaking so much, and the line is over there that you kind of, you still have to putt straight ahead. And let it break. That's the goal, but I didn't hit it hard enough. So, yeah, that was sloppy. Those are the ones that are really a challenge on here. And then let it 
come down. Ah, good try. So a little sloppy in this round. A little sloppy, but penalty strokes, you know, those are the killers. You can't can't do that, so that's why I'm working on it. Have, I do have too many of those when I play, especially with the driver. You know, it's just can I get the start line? I, I don't know if you're expecting it to start to the right. You need it to start there, and I'm not doing that. So we're working on it. This one I'm going to hit a fade, though. It should be kind of my go-to. Yeah, I don't struggle on fades, typically. It's kind of my go-to shot right there. Just hitting it with a big fade. I got that little nine again. Should just be a decent little nine. Again, probably would hit a pitching wedge normally. Don't have it. deep and left that's so deep like that wasn't even a try to take anything off it it feel like oh it's 25 yards at least we're not in the water we still got a chance still got a chance to make par play the little high one let it stop go in there we go. Man, that was just just a little stupid mistakes going on in this one. Par three. You know, this is actually a good par three. So actually, I kind of, I'm going to write this hole down or make a note of this. 14th hole at Belfry. This is the shot I'm trying to work on. You know, I want to start it to the right, draw it to the flag. And I could aim over there, but that's not where I want to go with my swing is doing that. So close, just not going to draw. It's going to hit that front corner, I think. Closer, it's getting closer. Again, another swing I want to look at. So we're going to be doing these rounds, you know, every every week. One just to kind of play and show you a little bit of that. But I'm actually going to be watching these back. What I want to do is see my swing. I want to see my swing as I'm playing rounds. Get inside there. Okay, I'll take that. As I'm playing rounds, I want to see my swing. And is it doing what I do? You know, I, it, in drills and stuff like that, it's looking better. But am I doing that when I'm playing? That's the question that we have. So, you know, that's what this is for. That's one of the beauties, I think, if you have something like a live view or just a camera in general you can actually play, hit round, hit shots like you're on the course and see what your swing is. It's hard to do that on the real golf course outside. You can, but it's hard. That was better. There we go. See that ball started on line and it's drawing slightly. It's drawing slightly, but that was more what I'm looking to do. I like that one a lot. So again, I want to look at that swing. So, you know, I'm making notes, par five on the back, 15th hole. Let's look at that swing. Um, you know, just cause I want to, I'm gonna hit three wood. Cause I think I can get it up into that 50 yard range where I've been pretty successful today. I'm getting it close. So we're gonna do that. Let's see if we can. Ooh, I mashed that too. That one I hit really good. It's going to be inside the 50. 
that one was hit on the screws. So I'm excited because, you know, back in late August and stuff, and I had a, you know, I have arthritis that was acting up. I don't know why, it just was. And I uh, played our section championship, and it was acting up. I was all swollen. It was brutal. 40-yard little chip, hit the ground and go in. There we go. And, uh, you know, I just... Like I walked the first day of that, plus it was a hundred and something degrees outside. That was probably not a smart idea, but uh, I uh, walked and at the end, my foot was so swollen from arthritis pain. I, I did, I know why I walked it. I walked it because I was trying to stay loose, right? When I, if I get up and out of the cart and sit and, or if like I'm here and I play and then I go sit at my desk and try to get up, you know, my ankle gets sore my wrists get sore so it's just helpful to stay in motion that was closer it's still a little left just a little get over that bunker or right in it so you can see oh get i don't know if that's going to affect me or not you can see i hit that one's pretty solid see that spins coming down i do have some questions about the club i'm using as well so I've got one of my Division I players coming in this week. He's going to hit balls. He's back from school, and we're going to test it out. I don't know. Oh, I hit the lip. Ugh, it hit the lip in front. I hit that so good, too. That's just kind of one of those ones where you really don't know if it's going to or not. And then I did. Uh, you, you saw that ball was right up against the lip. All right, wedge time, 60 degree. Pretty full, hit that draw one again. Gotta go. Oh, it's, it was good distance. It's good distance. You can see, like I was saying, arthritis, you can see like on that follow through, my ankle just kind of locks up sometimes. But uh, did it make a par? Might, I hit it online, I think. Yeah, yeah we caught the bottom left. Bottom lip, give it to me. Sweet. Good save of the par there. Hit a lot of good shots there. So I'm glad to make par. Even the shot that hit the lip was a good shot. All right. This is a Ryder Cup course too. I got my Ryder Cup shirt on from a Ryder Cup this year that was canceled. From our Whistling Straits endeavors. All right. Try to cut that corner on the right. A little fade. I towed it, so it's not going to fade enough. Get down. So I hit the toe. All right. That normally would be a problem. That's not a problem with this in sim golf. Um, I was trying to get it to fade, and I didn't. I guess it doesn't matter. I wasn't getting there in two anyway, huh? All right. Again, another thing you can do out of a... Sim, out of this on Sim Golf. Let's take it for a ride here. Take it for a ride out of the bunker. Not an advisable play in real golf. That way I can guarantee I get over that little wash. Get up there. Breaks. And then we got 91. That's a little 54 degrees for me. Again, still working on that draw shot. 91. That one felt pretty good. It's just hanging right. Yardage wise felt decent. Yeah. 12 feet. All right, we just made one. We can make it again.
break. There we go. Got that one too. I like it. So yeah, once I've gotten this set up with the putting, you know, I've actually, I, I think I've said in the past, I really haven't enjoyed putting that much, but I enjoy it on this now. It actually adds a little element there that I like. So this is one where we're going to try it. We're going to see if we can get it started right enough. I think I like that one. I just, I felt it fade a little, but again, starting line wise, I really like that. You can see when I'm getting it started better too, I'm carrying it farther because there's going to be less spin on it. So 27 spin, so I got 271 out of that. Okay. So this is going to be just like that par three. A little better than, a little easier than that, but still got to hit it good. Oh, and I hit that good too. There's a couple of those three irons I've hit really well. Give me inside 10. Come on. Ooh, there we go. Finish birdie birdie. Beauty. I ripped that one. Sweet. All right. So there it is. A couple of, you know, a little bit of a shaky start there with some bogeys and a double in there and all that, but you know, trying to work on something. So that's what you got to do. You just got to get out there and try it and keep, keep persisting at it. That's the time of year. This is that time to get it right. So there you go.